ओके गुड मॉर्निंग पीपुल वी हैव कंप्लीटेड विथ मेजोरिटी ऑफ द सिलेबस टू थिंग्स रिमेन फ्रॉम द होल सिलेबस इट्स द लास्ट टॉपिक दैट्स वेदर फॉरकास्टिंग एंड द फर्स्ट टॉपिक व्हिच आई पर्पसली केप्ट बिहाइंड एंड दैट्स द नेचर एंड स्कोप ऑफ क्लाइमेटोलॉजी इन दैट एस्पेक्ट because i believe that uh, because climate is an abstract thing to understand once you get a feel of all these things instead of me telling you what is the nature and scope you could be in a position to uh, actually <clears throat> gauge for yourself of course i'm going to guide you through that but i purposely kept it on back because it has topics like tropical climatology and so on and so forth now at this stage having understood major processes in climatology we should be in a better position to understand uh, what all this is about rather than had we done it when we had just started with climatology and that's why i kept it behind but of course that's going to be the last thing and i want you all to actually think about it uh, that uh, and, and of course i'll be posting those those details on our uh, whatsapp group also the topic for today however is uh, weather forecasting we may not be finishing this whole topic today and as a consequence uh, we may not in fact be doing the methods of weather forecasting uh, today but then you see that when we speak about weather forecasting let me just start this uh, thing for us and this one speaks about weather forecasting what exactly does one have in mind when he she is uh, uh, speaking about it uh, frankly speaking you see that uh, there are a lot of limitations as to uh, what exactly a individual understands when we speak about uh, uh, weather forecasting for us presently for the layman okay weather forecasting is something that you see in front of you somebody is actually working on things working on the weather that actually is uh, uh, around us and uh, he she uh, or or it's an organization that is helping us to understand what the weather is going to be today what the weather is going to be tomorrow whether it's going to rain or not all of this is going to be done now there were times in history wherein uh, weather forecasting has been been done and of course there are different scales at which they are being made public also okay so for example from a time wherein it could have been mouth publicity to now uh, to to if if uh, if i am to tell you that when we were young kids and uh, we did not have sat- satellite television and we had only uh, the doordarshan to watch for okay towards the end of every news Uh, i think it was somewhere in 83 84 that they introduced that uh, may be the regional news may be the hindi news or may be the english news uh, uh, after india had launched its uh, first uh, satellite weather satellite as such uh, they used to come up with this uh, i i would say 30 second bite with regards uh, the uh, insat picture and we used to be enthralled by the fact that a uh, 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 satellite up there in the sky is sending us photographs uh, with regards the cloud condition and all of this used to be black and white at that particular moment of time there there were no graphics etc uh, and we used to believe what the person used to say that okay central india is going to have rains eastern india is not going to have rains and uh, for for a couple of weeks but before we go into all these aspects and in fact nowadays you have it to your choice in the sense that i have asked you to uh, download weather and radar app but then there are loads and loads of apps there is skymet and so on and so forth in fact you'll see that uh, skymet the other day has uh, come up with a prediction that for this coming monsoon uh, we are going to have 103% rain a monsoon this year now how they do it and uh, Uh, how many times do they rectify it is is something that needs to be studied in detail and one can study in detail as such it's not that okay once they say they will stick to it okay couple of days couple of months down the line or rather a couple of weeks down the line there could be a shift in this okay? because all of this is so dynamic 
and it's this very dynamism that causes us to actually go into uh, this this whole business of uh, forecasting now the basic question i would say is is why is it called as weather forecasting why is it not called as climate forecasting any one of you can uh, can explain this to me as to why is it called as weather forecasting and why is it not called as climate forecasting in spite of the fact that we have been speaking about the climate and other things okay all the processes are associated then eventually we need to speak about weather and weather forecasting rather than climate yes we speak about climate and uh, climate change etc and in fact it is this these very statements and the difference between uh, whether uh, what i was saying about weather and what i'm what i've said about climate uh, the, wherein the answer to my question lies why do we forecast weather and why don't we forecast the climate yes anyone uh, because sir uh, <laughs> बिकॉज सर जेव अपन मन तो क्लाइमेट क्लाइमेट मीन्स एक लॉन्ग प्रोसेस वेदर मीन्स जी चेंज होता रहता डे बाय डे कि एक लॉन्ग प्रोसेस नेदर कभी पेंज हो सकता जो क्लाइमेट एक खूब मोटी प्रोसेस listen listen to my question carefully why is it that we go in for weather forecasting why is it that we don't go for climate forecasting if it required you could correct my statement is basically the need let me tell you of course that doesn't that doesn't undermine the purpose of climate Uh, forecasting actually we do climate forecasting ani attas tumhi je manat hote ki climate change cha jo abhyas ahe is basically climate forecasting what you are studying about climate change is climate forecasting but you see that when if if instead of weather forecasting tomorrow onwards they start coming up with apps they start coming up with news bites on bbc and doordarshan and all these you know, media channels about climate change how many of us would be interested in that it is important everybody says it's important but then just like what you are seeing in front of you you have this gentleman who is speaking about friday saturday and sunday uh, instead of that you'll see that you could have uh, 100 years from now 200 years from now 300 years from now and he is speaking about climate change in the coming 100 200 and 300 years who would be interested in that very few people would be interested it's not that people would not be interested but very few people would be interested so what why is weather forecasted and why is not climate forecasted so regularly basically because as somebody said now i can't see your names who speaking but that as somebody said that it's 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 basically day to day change and it is this day to day change is going to affect each one of us every corner of this world every part of this country every age every gender the temperature rise the rainfall the humidity each of this for every day and every hour is going to affect us and it's because of this effect that it becomes necessary to weather forecast the weather rather than the climate it's very dynamic it's for a very short period of time okay and in fact you see that one of the first questions that or first explanations that any teacher starts with when he's teaching climatology is the difference between climate and weather and he aplyala part zalela asta ki climate amuk and climate tamuk and weather amuk and weather tam the reason that we forecast weather is because that is something that is impacting the larger section and let me tell you it is not only impacting human beings it is impacting animals it's impacting plants it's impacting abstract things and uh, studies obviously uh, research studies on each of these aspects goes on uh, the most common thread through all this is going to be predicting it how or forecasting it how it changes over hours over days and of course over weeks and if it's going to be something like the monsoon how it's going to change with months and seasons uh, as such so that's one of the uh, say they say the uh, requirements when it comes to uh, weather forecasting as such okay though it's on a very small scale it impacts the largest sector and that's why you'll see that weather forecasting becomes uh, very very 
important. How exactly is it done? You'll see that uh, weather forecasting actually includes, as I've just said, that uh, it's it speaks about a lot many things. Okay, uh, I, I was just referring to uh, how we used to be glued to the uh, television sets to see that one photograph of the insect one B. We did not know what insect was, what one was, what four, three was, what A, B, C was. But then we had by hearted that particular term insect one B ka aaj ka chitra aise hoga. So that that was that was a very interesting thing to see your country by being photographed by an object which has been sent up, uh, which was called as the satellite, and uh, which is which is giving us an information. And of course, it's in a geostationary orbit, uh, also. Now, having said all these things, what exactly does weather forecasting on a general scale include? Before we go into the technical details of uh, uh, weather forecasting since we are speaking about uh, the fact that um, weather forecasting and we started with the basic premise of the fact that uh, weather forecasting is something that impacts the common man and that's why what would we what would a common man be looking into it the common man obviously would be looking in for temperature what's the max temperature what's the minimum temperature that's what he understands as such uh, then you'll see that he would be looking for what is going to be the nature of the sky in the sense those who have had uh, weather maps for their practicals at undergraduate level will know that we study weather maps and then in that you have all those characteristics like uh, uh, all this comes under synaptic climatology by the way uh, wind speed and pressure and uh, of course not temperature as such but then uh, it speaks about uh, the condition of the sky and then you have that circle and uh, right from one eight or clear sky to one eight, and of course, a completely clouded sky. You have all those small circles. I think I have a slide of it as well. So we'll go into that as well. But then, uh, as time passed by and uh, other elements of uh, the weather became more user friendly and uh, they became more common related in the sense something like relative humidity. It is now that many people understand that uh, they may not be understanding what relative humidity is all about. But when they see in the Google app, when they see in weather and map, and when they see that droplet like thing, and next to it, they see uh, something beyond 70%, uh, they understand that there is a possibility of rain. If, it, if that number is below 30%, it's around 10 and 5%. Obviously, an individual would say that uh, it may not rain today. Okay. And uh, uh, with technology, obviously, we have come up with... Uh, uh, the more common man's connotations as far as all these things are concerned. What what does now people understand what is a heat wave? Uh, now people understand what is a cold wave. At least a significant number. I won't say majority of the people, but then uh, we understand what happens. Okay, it's it's against those times wherein we would say just say and note for our uh, convenience that uh, for the last few days it has been very hot. For the last few days it has been very cold. Okay. We did not relate it to a heat wave somewhere. We did not relate it to a, a, a cold wave somewhere. We did not relate it to a snowfall in some part somewhere. Okay, it was these were just observations. But it's all these observations which we were put into effect. And nowadays, as I have already said, that we have so many of these apps which give you uh, wonderful information. Okay, and in fact, the. Uh, weather and uh, radar app that I have asked you all to note down. It gives you so many other things in addition to all those aspects. As so, uh, when we speak about weather forecasting, further, uh, yes, yeah, you'll see that uh, these are nowadays. In fact, uh, uh, <clears throat> this is this is another user-friendly way of getting along uh, with. Uh, um, or, or, or making it more user friendly or more common man friendly uh, as such, in the sense that okay, number this this number uh, would uh, look like a boiled egg, but now because you have other photographs, if if uh, someone would have put it uh, exclusively, anybody would have said that this is a more designer boiled egg uh, or a half boil, I would rather say. But uh, since you have other things along with this, you'll see, and these emojis, you'll find this on uh, WhatsApp also. And uh, you find them in uh, very commonly used because you'll see that they tend to be, they tend to be more generalized nowadays. Okay? And uh, you'll see that with, uh, with a very good sunshine, 
i would say this is sunshine someone else would say that sun with a halo around it uh, this is partial clouding this is significant clouding this is totally clouded or over clouded as such now this is clouded with rain over clouded with rain over clouded with heavy rains okay this is rains with lightning okay this is rains with hail storms uh, this is uh, what we the other day called it as a sleet okay so sleet s l e e t sleet now these are winds and of course these are snowflakes this uh, these are water droplets this is lightning again uh, this is partial coverage but rain okay once again you see that uh, this is possibility of rain this is going to be lightning this is going to be lightning this is going to be uh, uh, snowflakes okay and in in presence of sunshine this is over covered this is windy windy again okay this is hazy i missed it here yeah this is hazy these are hazy conditions and uh, this is of course we have been referring to this this is the sunrise and this is going to be the sunset this is the umbrella this is the you know, the uh, wind speed okay and then of course you would have uh, rise in temperature fall in temperature and uh, of course common way of measuring the units that's degrees fahrenheit and degrees centigrade as such okay life has become so easy for us we using these android phones that we carry the emojis etc you see that it was just unimaginable around 10 15 years ago but uh, uh, because i have i belong to the generation wherein uh, till i grew up to an age of 25 i did not know what internet was i did not know what facebook was i did not know uh, of course we had something which is called as orkut then rather than facebook and uh, 2003 is when facebook came we hardly knew it it was till 2007 8 that uh, i started to hear about it and 2009 i joined facebook and there were all these variety of things available around us for now uh um, but that increases the responsibility of us okay i was just delivering a lecture for my undergraduate art students and uh, i was introducing them to human geography and uh, in that i was saying that uh, uh what 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 could at a particular point of time uh in the sense that if we are to label ourselves to be in, in our best conditions do we actually are or rather are we in a position to say that mankind is it is at its best of its Uh, development or has that moment already passed away are we still waiting for it we sh- we would not certainly be waiting for it because of the fact that uh, uh pollutions because of human activities have started so when was that point wherein man was in exact balance with nature we said that human activities possibly were not uh harming the environment uh, as such uh, we possibly may not be able to trace that but uh, that is how it is and how uh, human geography has been developing uh, weather forecasting would be looking at a scenario something like this and trying to understand uh, what would be the amount of rainfall that would fall out of these clouds as such you'll see you have a vertical climb you have a horizontal extent the darker ones the other day we called them as nimbostratus and then uh, you could have the cumulonimbus which you see the whitish color towards the background kunasa tari mic chalu hai kare kora no mala thoda sa i don't know but i'm getting some disturbances if kunasa chalu asel to switch off kara anyway coming back to the fact that looking at such night as such things okay this is how uh, weather forecasting in fact happened at some periods of time now uh, how do we forecast weather okay you see that we Uh, use various parameters okay it all obviously starts with uh, this aspect the radiation from the sun onto the earth and this is what we have studied as the heat budget earlier okay so it all starts with understanding the heat budget how that heat reflects into the evaporation and uh, the heat exchange radiation from the earth and of course this goes up in the formation of clouds and the clouds are going to precipitate at tops it's going to be precipitating in the form of uh, snow down it could be in the form of rain etc what is the scale at which we actually uh, would would be uh, f- forecasting weather as such now because the the whole concept of weather itself is a 
a condition of the atmosphere for a small period of time weather forecasting also would not be for a, for a very long period as such of course nowadays with the use of mathematical and statistical models they tend to forecast weather i would say that is season forecasting rather than weather forecasting uh, you see that forecasting of weather should should possibly be limited to uh, some some days only not into months etc as such these are hypothetical models and that's why the when i was speaking about skymet and its uh, observation that you're going to have 103% of rain this year uh, they they are not very sure about it and they would they would be correcting their forecast in 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 a month's time considering sorry considering the different uh, uh, conditions that you would have in in a month's time over the indian subcontinent over the tibetan highlands the surface temperature of the arabian sea the surface temperature of uh, the bay of bengal and the surface temperature of uh, indian ocean uh, and in fact all of these parameters taking it all the way to the surface temperature of australia and then you have the la nina el nino and the enso conditions uh, uh that uh, and 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 of course what uh, is called as the southern oscillations which goes into the complexity of understanding the monsoons and so on and so forth let us not go into all those issues as such but then uh forecasting weather it's basically a temporal scale and it's a very very large scale i would say okay at times if if you if you open your phones and look into the apps you'll see that uh, they gave you at different temporal scales you'll see that google would start it from r to r basis to uh, say day phase basis in the sense morning afternoon evening night is another phase at which it is given and then it would be today tomorrow day after and the day after that and then uh, at a very large scale it could be fortnightly also for the next 15 days and uh, if you mark the changes that happen in the 15 days you'll see that it will not be the same if i say today that 15 year days down the line this is going to be the condition nobody is going to be very sure about it and that's why uh, uh, that's that's why a lot of mod models of weather forecasting do falter uh, because they try to go in for a, a very long period given the fact that uh, uh, the atmosphere is very very uh, rather the troposphere within the atmosphere is very very dynamic and things may change uh, within a within a small period of time and you'll see that all you that you see in uh, in front of you not only the ones that are seeing uh, that that has been written around but you'll see that every tree is going to play a role in a local area every river is going to play a local role in a local area okay whether you have a mountain chain whether you have a forest cover all of this is going to make a minor major impact as far as uh, the whole process of change in weather is concerned and that makes uh, weather forecasting a challenge where that makes weather forecasting uh, so very interesting at as why do we need weather forecasting uh, basically because of the fact that uh, uh, it, this is very uh, weather is something very near and dear to us you see that uh, it changes our moods and minds and uh, with that regard you will see that uh, uh, many phenomena in the rain and particularly you will see that uh, rain is something which is very dear to us and that's why uh, you'll see that a, lo a lot of songs are being filmed in uh, hollywood movies in and around rains and in fact you see that uh, you would have uh, different uh, albums on it and in fact you'll see that uh, all the all the way back in the times of raj kapoor and nargis you had this movie movies called as barsat and of course then you have the other version of barsat i think bobby deol and twinkle khanna was in that if i had remembered it yesterday i would have pasted a photograph of it here also and uh, then you have these uh, uh, films which are screened on uh, ott platforms kadvi hawa okay, you see that it brings in a lot of uh, meaning to various aspects as such what exactly should kadvi hawa mean and of course it's not that hollywood has been uh, away from uh, use of weather and weather phenomena in it okay, you'll see that uh, hurricane and uh, uh, the day after tomorrow uh, all these are uh, movies which completely are screened on uh, weather phenomena and at the same time you have this movie by nicolas cage and the weatherman as such i have not seen this i was just hunting for similar images on 
uh, net yesterday to make this lecture very interesting okay in or i would rather say uh, if not engrossing at least um, worth attentive okay uh, because otherwise this lecture could have been very boring let me tell you that 90% of this uh, whole uh, ppt that i have prepared came to my mind yesterday and i thought that i should be having a, a while i speak about a lot many things that happen around i should be having photographs which keep the interest of the audience clicking uh, while i speak about it okay why should i be uh, worried about weather forecasting it's basically because of the fact that of course this is a different slide but then i'm i'll be writing it around as such you'll see and a lot of human activities do depend on weather conditions and because these human activities depend on uh, weather conditions it becomes uh, uh, at 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 the productive age i would say okay at the end of production or i would say at 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 the uh, end of life saving also okay because you'll see that at either ends uh, human populations have been dependent on uh, uh extreme events okay, have been or uh, not dependent i would rather say have been exposed to uh extreme events and have been at the receiving end of all these things and that's why uh, uh in in a very basic activity of man in the form of agriculture nowadays he requires a lot of help as far as weather conditions are concerned and given the fact that of late scientists are referring uh, to the fact that Uh, there has been a shift as far as extremities of uh, various weather phenomena and weather events are uh, concerned having said this at agricultural level here you'll see that right from uh, the harvesting to of course uh, sorry right from sowing or rather in fact right from plowing uh, to sowing to harvesting you'll see that a, a farmer is heavily dependent on uh, the information he today can have an access to with regards to the conditions as such because uh, you'll see that uh, uh, sowing and uh, rain are very close to each other in fact you'll see that unless and until you have the initial rain falls as such uh, a farmer will not sow uh, plow his farm, farm and once he has plowed his farm he'll go in for sowing and of course the rest of the process does does periodically continue till the point it it comes for harvest as such in say in fact you'll see that in it, it at the harvest times also uh, he is exposed to so many things you'll see that dependent on the products you see that different types of products will require different types of harvesting conditions in the sense some crops require a very dry uh, most of the crops i would rather say would require a dry spell uh, they would require sunny conditions uh, they would require uh, warm conditions some things would require humid conditions and what not okay so you see that particularly when it comes to cotton for example uh, uh, rains during the harvest is going to be a disaster as far as rains are concerned frost for grapes is going to be a disaster okay heavy rains for uh, rice cultivation of course is going to be a huge boon but heavy rains for crops like jowar and uh, jowar and bajra is going to be a difficult thing okay hailstones etc have caused an havoc as far as uh vidarbha and Mar marathwada in the last few months are concerned and uh, we we just keep coming across these clips that come from these parts of maharashtra as far as destruction and damage is done for uh, various uh, uh crops are concerned in fact there could be an exclusive lecture on association of agricultural practices uh and 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 uh, the weather conditions as uh, someone from an agricultural background could speak on ours and ours but we are going to speak about weather forecasting and as a consequence i would have to stop my initiatives in agriculture and its association to the at this uh, this point and then we come from agriculture to urban environments i would say uh, as far as urban environments are concerned uh, uh windy conditions and uh rainy conditions all need to be informed as such okay so general public needs to know about uh, what exactly is going to happen is happening as far as the weather is concerned so and of course they need to be informed about extreme weather or extreme conditions i don't see it here so uh say extreme phenomena need to be informed to people uh, as well okay 
once informed, you'll see that rather than individuals when they asked to stay home, they would stay home. You'll see that uh, this normally happens in Mumbai, uh, when in in monsoon, wherein the government officials come out with uh, uh, advisory to people that it's going to be raining heavily for the next couple of days, so people are advised to uh, stay indoors. Uh, as such, okay, on on a very large scale, you'll see that weather is uh, is required for water management, urban water management. Also, you'll see that. Uh, again, speaking of a city to a magnitude of Pune or larger magnitude like Kolkata or even larger magnitude like Mumbai is concerned. Uh, if you calculate, if you have around two crores of people in Mumbai, and uh, even if you expect a minimum of hundred water, hundred liters of water being uh, used every day by every individual, just, uh, uh, just imagine the amount of water that would be possibly required uh, for the uh, the whole city. And uh, this is the amount of water that needs to be that is required for is replenished on the basis of rains, and of course uh, you're not going to have rains for the rest of the eight months, so you need to store it, uh, and uh, that's possibly one of the main reasons why uh, we have to predict the whole season of the monsoon as uh, as such. Okay, and in fact I always give this example. I don't know whether I've shared this example with you that uh, it was in 2006 or 2005. I'm again, uh, not exactly uh, uh, remembering, but ever since 2006, so we July, it's, it's either of these two years, 2005 or 2006. And eventually every, every say uh, four or five years down the line, uh, you see that uh, waters have been entering uh, the, the city of Sangli. Uh, what is about Sangli? And in fact, you'll see that last couple of years, uh, Kolapur also has been facing these issues as such. But coming back to the fact of Sangli uh, is that Sangli is uh, on the banks of uh, the, uh, the river Krishna, I suppose, or uh, yeah, possibly the river Krishna. And uh, you have the Koina Dam on one end and of course you have the Almati Dam on the other end. Okay. Now what happened for the first time when Sangli started having these problems, that, okay, as I said, 2005-06, that was very heavily raining on this particular side, uh, while it was not raining towards this, this side that's in Karnataka as such. And uh, while the stocks in the Koina Reservoir start, started rising, uh, officials here thought that yes, they should be letting loose some amount of water from here. And they knew that it is going to rain for a couple of more uh, days uh, continuously in this. So they thought that, okay, in, in as principles of water management is concerned, they were supposed to be letting loose this water. This is going to be fall, uh, falling down and then it's going to travel all the way to the Almati Dam. This is the Almati Dam here, which is in Karnataka. These people had informed these people that uh, you can let loose the water uh, and, and we are going to send uh, more water. But because... Uh, there was some miscommunication, etc. Or the year before that, they did not have that much amount of water in Almati Dam. So these people waited for a significant period of time till the water to rise here. And uh, what happened is these people kept on letting out more water uh, day after day. And uh, these people delayed the uh, letting out of water from the Almati Dam. As a consequence, the surge of the water, the backwaters grew and the waters entered the city of Sangli. Uh, and there it played a havoc and it has been happening for significant Sangli they will vouch for my observations here that uh, this is of course a man-made flood now man-made floods happen when uh, basically you don't comply to uh, advisories issued by the uh, India Meteorological, uh, Meteorological Department uh, as far as these things are concerned so we have to be uh, informed about uh, weather conditions over the period of time. And uh, you'll see that, in fact, IMD provides these services for various sectors within and outside the government. You'll see that fishing is uh, an important aspect. Mountaineering, you'll see that uh, uh, mountaineers, high altitude trackers and mountaineers do continuously are on a lookout for changes in weather, basically because at heights beyond 4,000 meters, particularly, uh, there could be very fast changes which could take place. So they require a complete note of what should be happening uh, with changing hours as such. 
के ऑफ कोर्स समथिंग दैट आई जस्ट स्पोकन अबाउट फ्लड फॉरकास्टिंग फ्लड वार्मिंग एंड फ्लड फॉरकास्टिंग वुड बी समथिंग वेरी अ वेरी पॉजिटिव इंपैक्ट आउट ऑफ वेदर फॉरकास्टिंग एज सच ओके फिशिंग कुड बी एसोसिएटेड विद शिपिंग एंड मर्केंटाइल एंड नेवल एस्पेक्ट्स एज सच कम्युनिटी प्रोजेक्ट्स कुड बी हैव एन इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट एज सच इन द सेंस दैट uh you are exp- ex- uh, expecting a tropical cyclone and you have to move people from down areas to highland areas as such or you are already working on a project in that case uh, what would be the max level to which the waters may rise and you mark it at that the base level and you start your operations about that as such something related to fishing port shipping etc port officials need to be to- told about this official or uh, offshore drilling also aviation requires a lot of information particularly pressure conditions rainfall etc and uh, different services so a variety of uh, areas get covered when uh, you have an agency like the imd which is looking into uh, forecasting uh, as uh, as such okay and and in times wherein you have cyclones uh, cyclones approaching you see that uh, all these agencies are put into alert and uh, uh, um, the nodal government officials are obviously going to go into trying to understand and they're going to be in connection and in contact with people in the imd and continuous uh, in fact uh, i uh, was attending a fdp faculty development program uh, i think i did mention to you uh, earlier also Uh, on disaster management and there we were told that uh, uh, i don't remember whether it is yearly or particularly during the rainy season that uh, the mumbai officials that the bmc tends to be updated with weather conditions literally every 15 minutes that is the span to which they have come to every 15 minutes any change okay is being reported and uh, they are working on a project uh, i think uh, I, i forget the name of that particular project so uh we uh, it's it's nearly coming to real time observations and transferring now uh, it's it's a long story as to how uh, all this has happened over the period of time as such and uh, uh, explaining this would be something i would refer to as histogenesis you'll find this in uh, uh, savindra singh's uh, book as such i purposely use these uh, Uh, photographs i've collected them yesterday from uh, the net now i would number them 1 2 3 and 4 tumhi tumhal sagalyanna jar bhartiya sanskruti cha far abhiman asel tar without going into the google search right now tell me which god is number 1 number 1 god tell me who is number 2 tell me who is number 3 tell me who is number 4 nahi kalate mala ye asat jhalo kal jeva mi he search kele ki let me have the photographs of indian god because when i started searching for gods of weather uh, i started getting uh, images on google as far as uh, foreign gods maning mi anna foreign gods are concerned okay and you'll see that uh, uh, off late they start looking very humanish as such and uh, you'll see that these are indian gods as such and uh, if you have by now thought about what number 1 is in picture number 1 is reflecting upon you could just unmute yourself and let me know about it okay you'll see that he is riding the a crocodile Okay, riding a crocodile. Okay, it's it's so very obvious. Kya mark the background? Madhe kya kya dista hai tumhala? Ani aplo aplo lecture ka shower chalu hai. Ani me. Sir Varun. Yes, this is the god Varun. Manje rain. It is the rain god, and you'll see a lot of water splashing around, and uh, you'll see that possibly the difficulties that uh, see if you have a good rain, you normally don't. Uh, remember that but if you have a bad rain okay heavy heavy rains you tend to remember it for a very long period of time okay and that's why people remember 
uh, 26 July 2005 or 6, 5, 6 again. Anyway, but then and and that's why hey and and the advent of monsoon etc. If you if you put all of this together, possibly this is an artistic impression, but you'll see that the severity of all this can be displayed uh, is rather being displayed through this uh, this photograph as such. And then uh, you have uh, of course this is uh, this is a very famous picture, and I think you should be able to give me. Uh, in the number two god uh, within within uh, seconds, I suppose. Indra Dev. Yes, Indra. this is the god Lord Indra. Okay, and he is the he has in his hand what is called as lightning. Indra is uh, actually a, a, a synonym of uh, Zeus. Okay, Zeus in uh, European mythology. Okay, or I would rather say Greek mythology and. Uh, uh, the white elephant that he rides is uh, called as what? Airavat. Yes, he's called as the Airavat. And of course, you'll see that, of course, this, this is uh, a, a, a ex extension of imagination. And uh, you'll see that he has multiple tasks uh, as, as such. Okay? And of course, these multiple heads, multiple tasks are uh, basically a fact of, of uh, uh, a mentality that people tended to have when they have when may, they may have created uh, these types of uh, um, imaginary photographs i would say okay uh, number 3 should be what not directly related to weather but i could indirectly relate uh, number 3 to weather phenomena yes this is the agni dev and uh, Agni would be, with regards, if, if I had to stretch it into climate, I would say uh, temperature, hot waves, cold waves, hot waves particularly. And uh, number four is going to be? What? This is what happens with, uh, uh, I would say, Jalapan Anda Shraddha Mantona. The original pictures have some meaning behind them, but uh, when uh, I, I'm, I'm not that in-depth studies uh, studied about a particular thing, I tend to give away answers which are not uh, uh, in, 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 in the scientific mode of it. And that is where I start misleading uh, people. And that, that may have happened over a period of time, wherein, uh, say, say, the intellectual uh, renaissance in India may have faded because of the dark ages, so-called dark ages in India uh, as such. Anyway, uh, if we look into the background of it, has anybody got to what number four should be? If you look into the background, uh, the geometry, okay, what, what does it indicate? It indicates directions, isn't it? It indicates various directions and uh, in between them you have these num these uh, letters which have been written here of course i personally don't know the details of these letters but then uh, and 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 that you'll see that uh, uh, the vehicle of the animal vehicle of this particular god okay you'll see that if we go into the details i'll just I'll, I'll take you through all the details one by one because even i would be interested in that okay but first let us go into the details of this okay you see what what are the peculiarities that you find of this particular god? You see that the animal is gentle. Uh, at the same time, it's fast-moving animal as such. He she is carrying uh, say I think it's carrying lotus petals, and of course the headgear that he is wearing is uh, again very uh, indicative of the fact of a variety. And you'll see that uh, he is not holding on to his animal with a lot of dominance and force. Okay. Uh, I, I, this otherwise would be what? Samad Lakala Ka Lakshat. Ritam? Vayu. Yes, this is Vayu. Okay. Uh, going to let us see the conditions here. Okay. And uh, you see that you have these people who are praying on, you have these mermaids towards the right side. Matsya Kanya Panjana Manto. And uh, I don't know what the interpretation of this photograph would be. But uh, moving ahead here, 
okay airavat and indradev and of course you have uh, i i was about to read what is the reason behind having uh, agni dev having three heads i then realized that i had a lot more uh, photographs to collect so i just gave it up yesterday but at some point of time i would go back and try to read into this because i don't remember reading this in at my childhood we had those amar chitrakatha comics and uh, we used to read about all these mythological things through that uh, as well these are the major gods of course uh, i could have pasted here the sun god i could have pasted here the moon god and uh, other elements also but uh, i thought uh, otherwise and then uh, we have photographs of uh, um, greek gods also and as i said zeus is is a um, synonym of indra okay who is older how older is again something that needs to be uh, looked into you'll see that just like indra has the control of lightning zeus also is supposed to be having control of the lightning this is something that i found in uh, these are the gods in in japan of course the and and you'll see how they change okay you'll see that uh, chinese and japanese gods at times tend to be plumpy ones and of course the eyes are very peculiar of those people as such okay you see that uh, european gods greek gods particularly are bearded etc you see that uh, i don't know why but uh, there's an interesting thing that majority of these gods okay uh, photographs of these gods are without uh, uh, beards if not mustaches as such here you have one who has beards and beard and a mustache as such but then it's it's very interesting to look into these aspects also uh well uh moving ahead while we speak about uh weather forecasting and weather forecasting solutions as such uh you'll see that it it comes out of a lot of experience and people that uh, they they start giving out on uh, uh, weather forecasting you require a huge amount of experience as such okay through historic times you'll see that this information has been passed upon uh, from generations to generations and uh, it's experience people who uh, who look into for trends into these could give you an output a uh, fair output as such but the difference between ancient uh, forecasting and uh, with regards modern forecasting is uh, the the spatial and the temporal aspect you'll see that if we are speaking about the ancient times it was very very local and in fact you'll see that it was so local that pictures of gods also say for example if you look for the more popular gods in india okay, who are worshiped literally in every corner of india lord shiva is uh, worshipped in different corners of india and you'll see that the photographs that you find of lord shiva you can do this on do this exercise on google also photographs of lord lord shiva from north india photographs of lord shiva from east india photographs of lord shiva from south india you'll see that uh, in some places he will be bearded in some places he would be uh, having only a mustache in some places he not uh, lord shiva is for an example you can tra trace this into other gods also that uh, they would be uh, having different shades of uh, fashion okay? not for the gods but you see that the devotees tend to portray them in in the way they would like to see you see that most of the photographs of gods from south india happen to be having mustaches uh, as such and uh, that's 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 another interesting thing that you could be going into i am referring to this basically because uh, in ancient times uh, weather forecasting had a very regional context as such because man did not travel much okay there were no uh, transport networks of course technology was out of question as a consequence you'll see that the base of forecasting was to be uh, was to be very very local and you'll see that it's cause of this local thing that you find uh, that that the local festivals okay and these festivals you will see 
I don't know whether you have made these observations, but these festivals tend to be after the harvesting conditions. As well. so, it's 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 a natural rule that uh, you you'll see that animals normally breed after rainy season. Why after rainy season? Basically, because with rain comes a lot of grass. So herbivorous animals are going to eat on that. Once they are full, they're going to breed and they're going to have new progeny. And of course, uh, the rest of the animals, the carnivores, are going to be dependent on that. So the cycle goes uh, that way. As such. So this is obviously going to be applicable for human beings. Also, you'll see that uh, when we trace the population numbers, also you'll see that at times wherein uh, we have had good uh, uh, monsoons. Okay, you'll see that uh, the fertility rates of uh, those respective areas may have gone up. On the other hand, if uh, the monsoons may have been poor, uh, the fertility rates may have gone down. As you'll see that regionally, the festives are going to be uh, different. In fact, Maharashtra tumi pahal tar bail polacha jo season hai. Okay, upon we we pay back to all the efforts that the bullock has uh, gives us in the form of his physical energy. In the process of agriculture, of course, that is fading off today. And as well, bailan sa upyog unfortunately ha bail garden che shariyati karta jasto aparla jato karan ata baila la kai kam rai lela nahi hai. Shita madhe karan tum hi tractor vikat get lila hai. Okay, mo kai karai sa ata tesa ek vegla shauk pada hai sa. Ani bailan na daru pa jai chhi bailan na prachand marhan karun zora ne padwai sa. Ani manai sa hai am sa ek kai manai sa cultural he a hai. And you'll see that it across runs across all states. K Maharashtra Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Karnataka Madhya Pradesh, Tamil Nadu Madhya Pradesh, Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, Haryana, Yaha Babar. And unfortunately, we we do not budge from uh, our so-called. My Bakicha Bakicha Gosti, Amala, my mobile Amcha Amcha Sanskriti Cha Bhag Na Uta. But mobile, I accept that. Because of that, Amcha Fayda Cha. Okay, but. Uh, दारू पजना जोर जोर पड़वना बैल कसा भारी है रिफ्लेक्ट कर प्रयत्न करना अन्फॉर्चुनेट बट वेरी Two things about the uh, changing culture in India, as such. Okay, I am a pant galna, I am a shorts galna, I am a goggle galna. Jam chapurvo jani nahi ghatla. Koi he badla badla mantlo, tar he badlat nahi hai, ka badlat nahi hai. It's uh, something that all of us need to be, give a very serious thought to. Okay, coming back to uh, say say these these fairs and festivals. Okay, ma magashi sorry, me tit paran bail pole avar gelo. Tumi pahal ki. बैल पोया संबंध मत अमोशाला बैल पोला तो एखाद महीन अलीक अमोशाला महीन पलिक अमोशालाबिंग दिस बट एज अन ऑब्जर्वर इन जॉग्रफी आई टेन टू लुक एट दीज थिंग्स ऑल्सो देन यूल सी दैट एज फार एज मेजर प्रैक्टिस दैट वी फॉलो के वी हैव दिस Uh, Shravan Mass, okay, and you'll see that uh, as far as controlling of food habits during this period is concerned, fasting is concerned. All of this somewhere has to do with uh, weather conditions. I am not saying that this this has uh, much religious reference as such, but this has to do with weather conditions certainly as such. And for this, I would uh, and and let me tell you that uh, this is not only for. Uh, Indian conditions or Hinduism as such, you'll see that this happens in uh, uh, in 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 uh, uh, the Muslim religion also. In fact, you'll see that there's such a calendar. Ah, that's a lunar calendar. Now, why do the Muslims follow the lunar calendar? Upon upon lunar calendar follow, but but we follow the solar calendar also. Uh, you'll see that the Muslims follow basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dharma cha origin kute ah. It's in the desert regions, Middle East. मध्य मधुन आहे या धर्मा चा ओरिजिन एंड इट्स गोइंग टू बी वेरी हॉट ड्यूरिंग द डे मोस्ट ऑफ द एक्टिविटीज आर गोइंग टू बी नम ड्यूरिंग द डे टाइम एंड यू विल सी दैट देयर फेस्टिविटीज आल्सो द रमजान मंथ आल्सो यू विल सी कि दिवस भर काही खायचं नाही का खायचं नाही तो ऊन प्रचंड आहे तुम्ही खाल तर तुमची एसिडिटी वाढेल एंड सो ऑन एंड सो फोर्थ 
ओके आणि तुम्ही जास्त मुवमेंट मध्ये नाही नाही आहात दिवसभर मुवमेंट कधी होते मुवमेंट संध्याकाळी होते सो यु सी दॅट त्यांचं जे कॅलेंडर आहे त्यांची मुवमेंट जी आहे ही चंद्राशी रिलेटेड आहे मोस्ट ऑफ दुरिंग द नाईट फ्रॉम वन रिजन टू द अदर आणि त्यामुळेच तुम्ही सांगाल की रमजानच्या महिन्यामध्ये त्यांचं जे फास्टिंग असतं ओके यु सी दॅट दे विल ईट ड्युरिंग द नाईट अँड ड्युरिंग द डे दे मोस्ट ऑफ दॅम मग ह्याच्यामध्ये हळूहळू कट्टरवाद येतो एक जण दुसऱ्याला सांगतो की मी पाणी सुद्धा पीत नाही मी अमुक सुद्धा करत नाही मी तमुक सुद्धा करत निरंकार उपासन तमक दीज आर ऑल स्टाइलिश डेव्हलपमेंट आय वुड राहत असे इफ यू गो टू द बेस ऑफ दीज थिंग्स ऑर मेनी ऑफ दीज थिंग्स आर रिलेटेड टू से द इम्पॅक्ट दॅट द टेम्परेचर कंडिशन द ह्युमिडिटी इज गोन टू हॅव ऑन अ ऑन अ पर्टिक्युलर रिजन आय वुड से आय वुड नॅरो डाऊन ऑन अ पर्टिक्युलर इंडिव्हिज्युअल त्यांनी खिचडी खाल्ली नाही म्हणून तुम्ही खायची नाही किंवा त्यांनी खाल्ली म्हणून तुम्ही खायला पाहिजे असं नाही बट यू सी एज आय सेट दॅट दिस दिस ग्रोज एस 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 द न्यूज पासिस फ्रॉम माउथ टू माउथ इन्फॉर्मेशन एज दिस मग काय तर त्यांनी त्यांनी होम केला त्यांनी होम केल्यावर त्यांच्या घरी पृप्त पुत्रप्राप्ती झाली हे हळूहळू आता कसं आहे की इनिशियली पहिल्यांदा हे ट्रान्सफर कसं झालं असेल जे ह्याला पॅराडाईम शिफ्ट सुद्धा म्हणतात कधी कधी की ज्या ज्या स्वामींनी अमुक ठिकाणी होम केला होता त्यांनी तो होम बेसिकली त्यांना मुलगा होणार आहे आणि एक पवित्र वातावरण असावं म्हणून असेल पण तिकडून तो दुसरीकडे जातो मग ते दुसरी विचारतात त्याला की तिकडे काय काय केलं तुम्ही असं असं केलं तसं केलं आणि आता त्यांना मुलगा झालेला आहे मग हे व्यक्ती म्हणणार आमच्याकडे काही नाही बाबा आता कसं काय कराल तर तो म्हणे बघा करून तुमच्याच्या होत असेल तर तो जास्त अग्रेसिव्ह असेल तर मग हिल गिव्ह मायथॉलॉजिकल सपोर्ट टू हिज स्टेटमेंट बट ही इफ ही इज मोर फ्रेंडली वुड से नाव प्रॉबेबिलिटी इज की त्यांना मुलगा होईल नाही होणार पॉईंट फाईव्ह प्रॉबेबिलिटी फिफ्टी पर्सेंट सो इट मीन्स सो हॅपन की यांच्याकडे सुद्धा ती क्लिक होती आयडिया आहे सो द न्यूज स्प्रेड की सॅम्पल ए मध्ये झालं सॅम्पल बी मध्ये झालं सॅम्पल सी जरी ऍडवर्स असेल तर काय म्हणणार की नाही आमच्याकडे सुद्धा करा आता गंमत अशी आहे की सॅम्पल सी मध्ये हे नाही झालं सक्सेसफुल तो काय गावभर सांगत फिरत नाही कारण काय झालेलं आहे दोन सॅम्पल जे आहेत सॅम्पल वन आणि सॅम्पल बी ऑर ए आणि बी मध्ये देर हॅज बीन अ सक्सेस स्टोरी मग ह्याच्यात असं सुद्धा होतं की थर्ड सॅम्पलला डिमीन करण्याकरता वॉट वॉट डू वी डू द क्लर्जी द पुजारी म्हणेल नाही यांच्याकडे काहीतरी वास्तू दोष होता अमुक होता तो स्वतःच इनएफिशियन्सी कशाला कारण त्याचा धंदा त्याच्यावर आहे पुढे 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 जाणार आहे तो ही वुड से की नाही त्यांच्या घरामध्ये काहीतरी वास्तू दोष होता अमुक तमुक सो देर आर गोन टू बी अ लॉंग लिस्ट ऑफ मायथॉलॉजिकल स्टोरीज विच आर गोन टू बी अटॅच टू इट मग त्याच्यामध्ये हा देव आणायचा तो देव आणायचा अँड टिल द पॉईंट द पर्सन गेट्स कन्व कन्व्हिन्स की ठीक आहे मागच्या वेळेस काहीतरी चुकलं असेल पुढच्या वेळेस आपण जरा व्यवस्थित करूया तुम्ही दक्षिणा जास्त घ्या सो अँड सो सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स टेन टू हॅपन अँड दो वी आर इन द मॉडर्न एज ऑफ अंडरस्टँडिंग वेदर फिनॉमिना basic things remain basic and you'll see that regional level of weather forecasting is very very important weather changes locally weather changes within time so keeping that in mind is very very important when we are studying and going into the details of weather forecasting uh, as such okay i think uh, that should be more than enough for today i will end the show here and uh, leave some time for discussions karan discuss karne sarkha baraj ahe if you have any additions to this me je bollelo ahe he konala khataklela asel te cha adhis maafi magto pan if you have a parallel observations you could uh, uh, bring in uh, those observations and uh, the next 5 uh, minutes or so we can have a healthy discussion about all these uh, things that i have spoken today bolna sarkha bharpur ahe mala vatta mala vatla ajat sampel he pan mi ardya paryanta sudha alelo nahi there are going to be so many things before we actually go into scientific aspect of uh, uh, weather forecasting okay uh, that doesn't mean that scientific forecasting is the best and that what we did in ancient times is not okay it's only that we don't have proofs to that and uh, unfortunately in between times what has happened is uh, uh, people who had other interest have glorified it in the uh, other sense and that's why when science asks questions to these uh it at some levels we found us uh, we find ourselves uh, unanswerable and here is where then those who clamor to science core scientists they would say that look we said that all of this is uh, uh, is 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 not true it's all mythological but then 
if we go into the core sense of it at some points i won't say 100% but some percent of it is obviously going to be making some sense at some point of time okay that's all from my side if you have any observations you could unmute yourself if you have any questions you could unmute yourself and uh, you could ask me questions or you could share your uh, uh, observations uh, with me as such yeah i'm waiting for your observations or in, in case you have uh, you are late for your next lecture uh, we could stop here now tomorrow we could start the lecture with uh, today's observations as such uh, all said and done uh, we have finished with uh, the initial part of weather forecasting uh, we will meet tomorrow at uh, the same time that's 10:30 uh, till then stay home stay safe thank you very much you can leave the meeting